everybody hope you're doing great happy Thursday um, just day three here it's gonna be a mile run and then uh, some uh, running exercises there for 30 seconds try to throw in a little bit of clip there and then a mile run back it's 50 degrees out this is crazy this is awesome so hope you're doing well let's go for this run our right, daily vlog just finished the two mile workout it was one mile then uh, exercise it was skips for 30 seconds, uh, kicks, high kicks for 30 seconds, um, shuffle for 30 seconds, crossover shuffle for 30 seconds, uh, side to side, uh, um, skater jumps for 30 seconds, and um, yeah, that's it. So now it's time to cool down and get ready to head out of here. Got a 7 o'clock to get to. Good morning, everybody. Happy Thursday. All cleaned up. Still sweating, though. <laughs> I have to drive with, <laughs> with the windows down for a bit. Let's go. Good morning, everybody. We're doing great. Got here. A few minutes to spare. Let's go. I think we're ready for a lunch meeting here. Uh, late lunch, 1.30. I am starving. Thank goodness uh, they had picked Outback Steakhouse. So, um, was able to get a lot of stuff done here at the office, uh, entering in people into Salesforce, following up with emails, setting up uh, further appointments. Um, and then for the last 40 minutes, was able to create a ton of video content for the success principles like Jack Canfield's and going chapter by chapter as I'm uploading it on Instagram. Basically, I, there's only been a couple videos that you need to go to the YouTube channel to watch the rest of it. And so I'm, I'm been pleased that I'm able to break down this book of 67 principles down into one video at a time and then share that with people on the platform like uh, Instagram. So, and then we'll be getting back to Sherm's thoughts and going from there. So hope you're all doing well. Let's go to that meeting. Sure. All right, everybody. Had a great lunch meeting, uh, late lunch meeting there with Tracy um, over at university. And I think there needs to be a stronger partnership between businesses and education where there's internships, there's apprenticeships. It's a very, um, is a better collaboration between what employers want and what education is being given. Um, I'm still finding a lot of institutions are still doling out general education kind of curriculums when specifics is what's required and what's needed by businesses. And so <clears throat> there's a lot of businesses, small, medium, and large, that are constantly needing um, new hires, new staff, um, young talent to be able to join the ranks of the organization. And so it becomes crucial for organizations, businesses, to partner up with the educational systems so that way it works more hand in glove instead of, and I think we're, we're slowly moving, as you see it's happen much faster, or else we're gonna find educational systems to be lacking in the value they're giving to these employees. And then in turn, the businesses are gonna have to create all these uh, training structures in order to really help their quote unquote graduates because unfortunately they're intelligent and a lot of other things just not in what's going to be able to make the business grow and develop. But the institution that can find up that model quicker will find themselves uh, much more valuable in the future and also those organizations that can have and help their students build a network. Trims out. Hey there everybody, uh, leaving the networking meeting, uh, great times on the 25th floor, so that was really cool, get some really cool, um, you know, visuals up there, see the city skyline. Um, I'm a big, big fan of when you're at a networking meeting and maybe there's somebody that's new there. Uh, number one is say hi to the old folks that you already know, people, the connections, keep those strong. At the same time, now it's a great opportunity to be able to connect with people that you don't know yet. Or if there's somebody that's new, you can introduce them to people that you do know and really start kind of helping people make those connections together. Uh, not everybody is an extrovert, right? Not everybody is super comfortable having those kind of conversations. So feel free to kind of take the lead on that one with, with individuals. Um, so had a great conversation before with uh, Tracy about the power of uh, partnering up the businesses with the education. And I talked a little bit about that before, uh, but I think it's going to be ever more present going forward for our educational system to be able to have a stronger partnership with business and making sure that they're on point with what needs to be taught and most importantly, having skills that are transferable immediately. 
that someone literally is job ready instead of um, needing to be trained. Now, there will be some different training that needs to be done that's maybe uh, company specific, but I think it'll give an opportunity for people to have a greater transition from school or some kind of, you know, learn, learn as a student into the workforce. So, um, the other one is the value of social media in regards to being able to connect with people in a way that's meaningful. Uh, just recognize that for each of us, we have a different need, a different desire um, to be able to, why we're using social media for me, it's a connector. It's a way to be able to connect with people face to face and then go digitally, or go digitally to go face to face. And that support can be cyber, it can be digital, and we can build a network out that way. Where for other people, it is, unfortunately, they base some of their confidence on these digital likes, these digital affirmations, which for me is somewhat fleeting because you don't know who's really in your corner. These are all people that you, don't, you may or may not know, and so don't get caught up in that. So, for example, if you go to high school and you know five people or ten people are your friends, then why are you expecting there to be 50 likes? Because you're not connected with everybody in your entire high school. So, remember, these are social media tools. These are communication tools. These platforms are meant to be social. And just like any communication, it's a lot better to be positive, uplifting, motivating, inspiring than critical, rude, crass, um, downright negative. Let's avoid that. Let's be nice.